Doctor? Oh no, little kitty. Don't thank me. Instead, thanks to my brain. Oh, hello, friends. Yes, you heard it right. The reason we can do all these awesome things in our lives is due to an essential organ in our body called the brain. So today, let us learn about this vital subject that helps us to learn about the vital subjects and explore the amazing world of the brain. Zoom in! Your brain is basically the boss of your body as it controls everything you do. Things like learning, thinking, feeling, dancing, even breathing and your heart rate. It's due to your brain, you can pull pranks on your siblings and friends. And you won't believe, but not even supercomputers can match its powerful ability to download, understand and react to the volume of information coming to you through your senses. So, how does the brain manage all this? Different parts of your brain control different functions. So, let us start with the largest part called the cerebrum that takes up to 85% of your brain. It's actually the thinking part of your brain and controls your muscles. It's due to the cerebrum you can walk, dance, play games and most importantly, learn about various subjects on the Dr. Binox Show, isn't it cool, friends? Next comes a relatively small portion, but an essential part of your brain called the cerebellum, which helps you to maintain your balance and regulates motor movements. That means without the cerebellum, you would be falling all over the place. Now comes a small but a mighty force to be reckoned with. The brain stem, that is, connected to the spinal cord. It controls those areas of your body that you don't need to work on. Like breathing, maintaining your heart rate, digesting food, etc. Without us even knowing about it. Then comes a little almond-shaped area of your brain called the amygdala. It is responsible for emotions survival instincts and helps to store memories of events. Wow! A small part with big responsibilities. Trivia time! Did you know that your brain generates about 12 to 25 watts of electricity? That is enough to power a low voltage LED light. Also, scientists have recently discovered that for a period of time after you have exercised, your body produces a chemical that makes your brain more willing to learn. So if you are stuck on some difficult homework, go out and run, play or exercise around for a while. Then tackle the problem again. You might discover that you are much more able to solve it. It's question time! So friends, today's question is, which is the largest part of your brain? Do write your answer in the comment section below to be part of the Peekaboo family and to show how fit and fine is your brain. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox zooming out. Hey kids, you liked my videos didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!